everybody and welcome to the Fenner Aquarium. Today I'm going to do something I've been talking about doing for a while, which is starting a YouTube channel. Uh, haven't really gotten myself to do it, but kids off at school today and the wife's at work. I actually got myself a little quiet time, so I figured we'd give it a swing. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about some stuff I just kind of got into, and that's flower horns. I uh, ordered these two from Thailand, which actually I just ordered the one on the left, and uh, ordered them from a picture, looked fantastic, got them, and he's he's okay, but not like the edited photo that I had originally ordered them from. Went through a little bit of a headache with all of that, I missed the shipment, I ended up waiting about five weeks to get this fish, and because it took so long, they ended up throwing in this guy over here, I had asked for it to be a female when they said they were going to gift me a fish, but I am not 100% convinced at that. So uh, time will tell, and once it gets a little bit bigger, maybe I can vent a little bit better. Um, so right now what I got him in is a 40 breeder. I built this stand with some wood I had laying around. It's black walnut and cherry and maple and just kind of a bunch of odds and ends. And then I ended up getting a sump, so I set it up with a sump through in, under it and running some uh, rock for uh, bacteria to live in and uh, for a bio filter. And then it's just uh, some filter floss and a couple of filter socks to catch the uh, mechanical stuff. Uh, tank stays pretty clean, I, even though I feed them all the time. But, and I didn't even clean it up for you guys to have a video. You can see there's a little bit of a mess left over because they eat a lot and they make a lot of a mess. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. Working on their personalities now. This guy's a little more into it than the others are. There's my finger. Than the other one is. That one's a little bit small and a little bit shy. Come on, grab it. No, that's my finger. That's my finger. But I'm just trying to warm them up to me and make him a little bit more careful and maybe a little bit more crazy. So that way he uh, is more apt to uh, chase around and have some fun with. And this one, she's still pretty, or he, still pretty calm. But it'll get there. So I've got this tank divided, which I wasn't at first going to do because when I had originally set them up, they seemed pretty good with each other. Um, I had a divider in them when I got them and acclimated them when they came in on shipment, but then I would let them be together for like 10-15 minutes a day and they always just stayed fine together. And then when I finally got them in the 40, they were all good until the lights went out and then he did a little bit of damage to the other one. Nothing bad, just kind of chased it up into a corner and left a few scratch marks on it. So then I built a divider and then I put some holes in the side of the divider so if the little one wanted to pass over and go by the large male, it could. Now that seemed like a great idea until I found out that the holes were too big so he could go over there if he wanted to and chase the other one about. Sorry about that. So, I ended up having to put some zip ties in there to kind of close up the space because I didn't have enough of this uh, light diffuser or egg crate or whatever you guys want to call this. So I've been doing that, it's pretty good. I come in here and I catch the little one by the big one, uh, probably once a day at least, just that's while I see them. I, uh, I did take a video I can include it of them being kind of together, a couple pictures, and they do pretty good for the most part. It's just after a little bit he gets excited and chases after the little one. So what we got here is this is supposedly a galaxy, uh, Kampha, which, you know, I guess it is, I guess that's what it is. You know, I got some pictures of the parents, those looked really nice. I can include the picture I bought him off of. and. Uh, I mean, he's he's satisfactory. His head's probably three times the size of when I got him. I'll throw in a video of uh, when he first showed up. He was had a pretty small head and no red at all. I've been working on him a little bit, and now he has some red. So, just different feedings, different food. I feed them all a variety of food, and we can do another video and get into exactly what I feed them. And then I just kind of feed them 
a few pellets, you know, maybe four times a day. It's just kind of anytime I'm in the room just to kind of build a relationship between me and the fish. You know, they see me, they think of food, and everybody likes food, so. So what I got these guys running in is a pretty simple setup. 40 breeder, S-Shops Overflow, a uh, fluval hang on the back that I've just kind of got to have a little bit more water circulation, stir up the tank a bit. Got just Biomedia in there right now. The light is actually a $10 under cabinet light from uh, Walmart. Hook that up, it's supposed to be daylight spectrum. And I think it does an okay job. So then I've got that going down into my sump. Runs through the filter socks down into the whatever uh, area where I've got my uh, saltwater base rock I'm using for uh, biomedia because it works so good in my saltwater setup. Everybody, the live rock works really nice. It's very porous. So I've got that in there. I threw a little bit of plants out of another tank. Something that kind of grows on the top. You can see it's kind of uh, wedged itself down in the corner there with a the bio ball. Then that runs through this filter block and up in here. It goes into this uh, main area where I've got my pump and my heater. And then I've got a little wave maker back there stirring it up because uh, the flower horn food seems to have a lot of fat in it and if it sits down in the filters that breaks down and then you get like a slime layer on here so the wave maker just stirs it up and then uh, kind of breaks it up and runs it through the filter again so I don't get too bad of a coating in there. So it's been working pretty good. I didn't clean the tank up like I said and it, it's, it's pretty clear. The uh, fish's name, I let my son name him, he named this guy right here, Vader, because he's a Star Wars fan. We did have another fish named Jubba, but Jubba did not survive the stress of all the travels of getting him home and everything. So this is Vader, and then seeing as this one is supposed to be a female, it is Ray. So I guess Ray will work if it ends up being a male, I guess we'll have to keep everybody updated on that as time goes by. But, well, thanks for uh, tuning in, I guess. Uh, it'd be a big help if you'd like, subscribe to the video, maybe uh, let me know what else you guys would want to see. Talk about some of the other tanks, like the uh, giant green moray eel. Definitely got to do a video on him, or several, because he's pretty sweet, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of info on them. Let's see if he'll come up and say hi. He's kind of a ham. So if you'd like to see more of him too, let me know. And uh, you know, I'll try to get at this more often. You know, if you guys got any ideas for other topics, we'll do that. Otherwise, I'll next video I'll talk a little bit more information on feeding and other things, you know, to go in on this and maybe some status reports on how I've been doing grooming them. But until next time, uh, thanks for tuning in.